Welcome, man. Thank you for coming through, man. Thank you. Thank you. Greetings from Ghana, West Africa. JC, Charlie, you make it happen. Reaction God, I salute. What's good? Sal salute, man. I'm good, man. I'm good, man. And mm. I'm so glad to be able to touch bases with you, you know. Get to know you a little bit more. I'm sure there's other people that would like to know a little bit more about you. Um, sure. I, you know, from off the hop, mm. I got to ask you your name. I know what your name means, but I, I'm sure a lot of people don't know what it means. Okay, yo. So uh, so my name is Obibini, um, and in the, in the Akan language, this is, which is tree, where I come from, it means the black man. My high school name was Buddha, and I thought, to me, uh, well, it's, it's a cool name, but it wasn't relatable enough to my people, you know, I'm from Africa and you know, West Africa, Ghana, you know, your people have to be able to connect to you. So, yeah, after a little meditation, we, we, we Obibini came up, which, you know, I felt like, okay, this is it. Because it, yeah. it, it, it hits different and I felt it. Yeah, I know this is it. And like I said, it means the black man. And, and so I get to represent every black man on the face of this planet. Which is a tough job, but we own it. <laughs> yes, yes, it very tough indeed, man. Living as a black man, yeah, <laughs> I mm. know that for sure, man. You. you were in a you were in a group even before you really, before you even really started doing music. You were in a group before, yes, Il, yeah. It was Il, 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 if I get it right, Ill Deadly Ministers. That was that it. Il, yeah, exactly. IDM Ill Deadly Ministers. You know. Um, yeah. I went to a boys' school, you know, it's called Addis Adel College, Addis School for short. And, you know, um, Addis School is one of the schools, you know, it, it, has, it has this name, it has this reputation of, you know, coming out, like producing some of the best boys. Like, when it comes to music, you know, you know politics, yeah. like, we have some of the boys, best boys out there. So, yeah, I went to Addis Adel College and, uh, you know, I found myself in a four member rap group. We called ourselves the IDM. They were deadly ministers, and, you know. Yeah. We're just we're just high school boys, so we're just doing it for the for the fun of it, you know. Yeah. We just we just want to go perform at the girls' schools and get some fun. <laughs> that that was all it was about, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and so yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was it, it was fun. We enjoyed the, the time, you know. We were doing our thing, but you know, after school, everybody got caught up in a different hustle. Yeah. You know, some of the guys went into banking. Some traveled out to the states, like you know. So I realized I was the only one left to, you know, actually pursue this music dream. Yeah. So, yeah, that is where, you know, I had to sit back and then, you know, strategize things, no, come up with a new name that would be new, yeah. you know, that's how, uh, like I was saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, 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 I've even, I even went, took a little a dive into uh, a little bit of your biography. Like, you also, you also want to do more than just music. You want to bring, like, youth in. And uh, you know, cause you, when it comes to history, you like a lot of history. That's why I, 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 I read exactly. that you, you love a lot of history, and you, you take this thing really serious. There's more, there's more than just doing hip hop. There's more to it. Yes, uh, I for one, I believe I'm a perfectionist. Uh, I, I, anything I want to do, I, I, I try to put my all in it, and I make sure it doesn't come out till it's right, hundred percent. Yeah, that's how I write exactly. So. I could be writing music, but you find I tell biology in there, you find some little chemistry, you might find little politics, little spirituality in there. I'm I'm all I like I'm giving my all yeah. to music. And so I, I leave no stone unturned when I'm writing these things. I make sure I don't I don't have loose lines in my bars and I, I also believe it, it came it came as a I I got the, I got to this uh, perception as a result of the era I grew up in, you know, it was a lyrical yeah. era, uh, the likes of Nas, Biggie, you know, Guru, and these guys are, you know, lyricists, so yeah, yeah. I, I guess, I guess I learned from some of the best hip hop MCs, yeah. and so yeah. I, I gotta ask you, I, I see, I don't know if this person wrote this accurate, so I have to ask you, and you will confirm, okay. um, when it comes to one of your own I saw Reggie Rockstone was in that list of one of someone that inspired you. Is that correct? Exactly. That's All perfectly right. correct. That's 100. <laughs> right. Reggie Rockstone is actually the founder of a uh, local genre. Like we have hip hop at Galloway. It's called Hip Life. And yeah. Reggie Rockstone is, is the godfather of that. Like he founded that. So, I mean, we grew up on Reggie Rockstone's music. So, yeah. If, if you, yeah, so it's a, yeah, it's a big thing to me, you know. I have to always shout him out. I used to, I used to sleep with this album, you know, with my, with my Sonny Walkman. 
Yeah. And my dry cell batteries, you know, like, yeah, <laughs> Reggie was the, he was my silent teacher, like, you know, my own skin teacher. In my, I actually took my first steps, like, my first lessons in rap from yeah. the Rockstones album. Yeah. So, yeah. Awesome, man. Yeah, yeah, man. I actually, I actually did, <laughs> I actually did a live reaction to one of his most recent tracks. Um, oh. It, it, it's the one where he's like, my man back to shirt. I'm like, dude. You making all these youngsters look like like shit right now. <laughs> the yeah, I tell you, out. man. Yo, Regis, it's it's fit, it's very relevant, and and the magic of it all is is above fifty. Like it's crazy. Who does? That? Yeah, I know. Regis is a magician. Like, yeah, we love him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, just... I'm, I'm, I'm actually I'm actually hoping that could be his agents to do what I do because it's not easy, man. Yeah. Nice. Reggie, Reggie's one of a kind. Yeah, de definitely, man. Definitely, man. That man drinking some youth juice that a lot of us would like to know I what tell he's you, drinking. Man, he has some Alex there, like a fountain of youth or something like. He's refusing to grow. <laughs> yeah, true. Very true, man. Most of your tracks, mm. you got to really sit down and pay attention to the things that you're saying. Um, I know there's quite a few of us that the bars might probably fly overhead. I, for one, yeah. it would happen because I don't speak tree, so... I can only take in as much exactly, as I can, yeah. but it's just the mm. energy and the vibe you come with that that makes it so so amazing and make me like mm, I got I just explode when I hear your music, man. Get, exactly, it hits differently. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, it hits different, yeah, and, man. And I think that's the universal vibe about music. Yeah, yes. exactly. That's the universal vibe about good music. You know, sometimes you don't really have to you know understand the dialect, but. There is a vibe which is universal and you know anybody can relate to it. Working with Sakar D on that track, Balasiagas. Well how how was that for you? Balasiagas, yeah. Yeah. How was that for you when you um did that track? Ah, uh, Balasiagas is a very heavyweight track. Shout out to Sakar D. Sakar D is one brother I really respect. I mean everybody in Ghana really respects him because he yeah. actually put, you know, the nation on the map like that. So yeah, we don't play with Sakar D. So it was really an honor. For, for me to have him like on that song, you yeah. Know? And, 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 and let me tell you how, how it, it came to be. You know, there is mm -hmm. this respect we have for each other. You know, I, I, I believe in his craft. He believes in mine. So uh, when the song, I did a song, I did the first verse, and I contacted him, and he was like, "Yo, throw it, throw it over, bro." And I did. Mm -hmm. the, just the next day, the verse came. <laughs> wow, he had it done. I tell you, it's, yeah, everybody in the studio was crazy, like, wow, that was fast. So uh, it, goes, it goes on to tell you, like, you know, how much mutual respect yes. existing between us. Yeah. True enough, because I know there's people that you would send a track to, you know, you know, you want to link up, you want to do this thing, and they would take about a whole month before they get back to you. The guy did it, that he, oh man, that's, that's, yeah, that's a yeah, lot of respect, this was, man. This was different, this was nothing like that, like, yeah, there was there was 100% love shown, you know. Yeah. There was 100% love shown, exactly. I mean, there was sacrifice taken, you know. Like, I, it was impressive. I was impressed by the speed. How comes you guys never did a... How comes another a video never came out? Yeah, that... Uh, you know, uh, uh, that, Diagrams, uh, the EP, which contains that song, Balenciaga, yeah. came out in 2019. And, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the the reason why the video n never came out, even though we are trying to put you know resources together and make it happen, was um, at that time uh, there was a little you know how would I have put it uh, a little suspension in the operations in my label. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, exactly. no no problem. So more or less, uh, the offices were closed at that time, so I had to you know kind of wait for you know the whole thing to start operating again and yeah i just couldn't wait that long so i had to let the audio come out at least you know yeah <laughs> because, I... yeah it was so i was burning inside like sitting on that good news so no i, I just couldn't wait so i yeah, just put yeah. the audio out there and it's still doing magic like people listen to it even up living today and go like yo we must that have a video for this yeah, that tune, that tune bad, man. That tune bad. Like when I hear it, I even yeah. even thinking about it right now when I reacted to it too, man. That tune hit so different, man. Yo, that oh, tune yeah, hits yeah, so yeah. different. I, I, I was, and, and and I was surprised to see your reaction to it. Like that that also 
you know, added to the fact that like it built my confidence. Like, oh yeah, this is something you know standard is, is of quality for for it to yep. attract someone like you to react to it. I was like, oh okay. Yeah, I, I was. <laughs> yeah, I definitely felt yeah. that. I, 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 it, it always feels good when when someone who's not even within you know, you know within the same country as you or like even across the other side of the world love your music even though you know that you can tell that they can't understand everything that was fully said just Ooh. the way how yeah. they appreciate it it makes you it makes it's a feel good moment too as at the same time man 